Welcome back. Thanks for logging on and tuning in. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe. That way you can keep coming back over and over to hang with us and our fantastic creative guests in the arts and entertainment world. I'm Allison Murray, and right now we're at AuthorCon and Film Festival in Oneonta, New York at the Holiday Inn, and we're hanging with author J.G. Fahirti. Is that right? That's right. How are you? <laughs> Very good. Thank you for hanging with us. Oh, it's a pleasure. So tell us about your latest book. Okay, my latest book is The Cure. That actually came out last year. Um, it's about a veterinarian who can heal just by laying hands, but whatever she cures, she also takes into herself. And so she basically becomes a weapon. And now the military and several criminal groups are after her, trying to you know, turn her into an assassin against her will. So she's on the run, and as her powers grow, so does the trouble that she gets into. That sounds intriguing. Uh, so what inspired you to write your first book? My first book was Carnival of Fear, and it came to me in a dream. I just woke up in the middle of the night, and the entire book was in my head. It's the first and only time it's ever happened to me. I wish it would happen more often. And I spent the next three weeks writing longhand during my lunch hours, and got it all down, and then slowly transcribed it into the computer. Oh, wow. Um, do you have a specific writing style? Uh, style, you mean the way I write or the voice? I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. Um, my style is I write in the mornings and in the evenings. And as far as what type of works I write, it's mostly dark fiction, ranging from fantasy to pure horror with some science fiction thrown in. And it can range anywhere from lighthearted to very, very dark and mysterious. I'm not one of these slasher type writers. <laughs> That's a good thing. Um, is there anything that you find challenging about your writing your books? Uh, other than finding the time to write them? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's for me, the challenge always comes in the secondary parts. You know, I think of the main plot and you've got the beginning, you've got the end, you know who your heroes and villains are. It's coming up with those subplots, the romances, the interactions, the interplay between the secondary characters that keeps a reader's interest throughout 400 pages. Right. Yeah. I could see where that could be a little challenging. Um, do you have to do a lot of research or not really for these type? I do some research for certain books. I wrote a book a few years ago called The Cemetery Club that takes place in an abandoned insane asylum. Um, and that's actually based on things that happened in my hometown with a similar uh, organization that was there. And I had to go back and learn about what they did, the experiments they ran on the patients. There was 880 deaths that were covered up and the bodies were buried in an, an unmarked graveyard. So learning, you know, what diseases were they testing the vaccines on? When did they start doing their uh, lobotomies and things like that? Because this was experimental for all of that back in the 30s and 40s. Wow, oh, interesting. I bet you dug up some pretty good information. <laughs> um, where is your most favorite inspirational place to uh, regenerate, uh, come up with your ideas? It's interesting, um, you know, ideas will pop into your head at any time, but what I like to do, some people write every day. I write every day when I'm home, but if I'm on vacation, what I'll do is just take pen and paper with me, a little notebook, and I'll jot down outlines and plots and, and ideas into those notebooks, and then when I get back home, whichever one really strikes me, I'll start working on it. So, um, going places that kind of gives you ideas? I think being away from the desk and the office gives you, gives you the relaxation that you need. You're not f trying to force an idea. They're just coming while you're sitting on the beach or 
you know, driving in the car, whatever it might be. Um, who designed your book covers? Uh, this cover for Carnival of Fear, I came up with the idea, and then an artist named Stephen Gilberts did the work. He's a fantastic artist. And the idea for The Cure, my publisher art team came up with that one. Um, have you, have you uh, found that your writing process or your, your um, writing itself has changed since you published your first book? Absolutely. Back then, it was almost just stream of consciousness. Uh, you j I just sat down and I wrote and I wrote and I wrote. And it was not that good. And I'd have to go back and edit it and then edit it again and then edit it again. Uh, now, over the years, I've become more self-conscious when I'm writing. And I'm, I find myself doing a lot of editing as I write. So it takes a lot longer to finish the book, the first draft, but it's a lot cleaner. And I usually only have to do a second draft after that, and it's ready to go to the publisher. Oh, nice. um, was it challenging to get your uh, first book published? It took four years to find a publisher for it. So, yeah, it, it took a long... It's not an easy field to break into, uh, unless you get very lucky. And then, But then after that, it usually takes me, you know, a year or two uh, to go from finishing the first draft to seeing it in print. Have you ever um, thought about maybe putting um, The Cure, say, into film? I would love all my books to be made into film. Hollywood, if you're listening... There's a lot of books here, good ideas that just begging to be made into movies. They um, do sound like them too. It's, it's, it's a difficult area to make connections in, so more often than not, you have to hope that they find you rather than you forcing yourself onto them. Right, yeah. But we that. keep trying. Yeah. Um, so what's coming up next for you after today? Are you doing any more book signings? Um, I've got a couple of book signings coming up for the Halloween season at local libraries. Uh, I'm in Rockland County, New York, and then I'll be probably start working on edits for the next novel, which comes out in 2018, and that's called Hell Rider. Nice. And where can people find you and your books? Um, you can go to my website, jgfarity.com. You can also find me on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, you know, the usual places people buy books these days. I'm um, also on Facebook, JG Faraday, Twitter, JG Faraday. It's the same name everywhere. <laughs> That's the easiest way to find a person. <laughs> Keep the same name. Do we have time for a game? We like to play games on this show. Okay. I am the game queen. We're going to play Mad Gab. Have you ever played Mad Gab? A long time ago. Not what you say, it's what you hear. So we're just going to pick a card at random. If I can get one here. All righty. You pick one too. <laughs> And you, you want to go first or you want me to go first? Um, it's up to you. Why don't you go? Okay. Uh, let's see. Hollow Days All. Hollow Days All. Hollow Days All. Holidays All. Holidays, I don't know. Holidays. Holiday Sale. Holiday sale. Well, I don't shop. <laughs> I buy everything on Amazon. <laughs> Your turn. Okay. Uh, I don't want to give you that. That's way too long. Okay. I'll have hiccup puffs hoop. I'll have to. I'll have. I'll have hiccup puffs. I'll have something soup. Half a cup of soup? I'll have a half a cup of soup. <laughs> and you are a winner. It is, I will have a half a cup of soup. <laughs> I'm getting good at this. To play the host with this game. <laughs> I'm getting good at this game. <laughs> well, guys, it's been a blast. We had so much fun hanging with J.G. Faherty today. I am Allison Murray, but before we go, we'd like to thank our partners at Famous Faces and Funnies, Space Coast Comics, Off the Chain Radio with Yvonne Mason, the Florida Book News, Wordfire Press, and our great friends at Summon Unique Magazine, our brand new partner, ACES, Asylum Convention Entertainment Services with Heather Reed. These are the folks that share our videos all over the World Wide Web, and we hope you will too. 
Don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment, and let us know what you think of today's show and our guest. You can also check our guest links below. Remember to subscribe, log in, and stay tuned to see who we're hanging with next. That was fantastic. Oh, my God.